Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the I pledge allegiance to the flag states of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tampa Heights Navigators. It's Miss Greenberg, your media specialist, with a bonus morning show. This week we have just one or two really special announcements, so please listen up. Stay tuned. Hoopathon is happening on Monday, April 19th at 2 through 3.45 p.m., and it is $5 to come and bring extra money for snacks. And some somebody from the PTA will be at Morning Mile on Wednesday, April 14th, and Thursday, April 15th to collect permission slips and money for the, for the Hoopathon. And only exact cash should be sent with the permission slip. This message goes out to our fourth and fifth grade students who will be taking the writing assessment on Thursday. We wish you good luck. You've worked so, so hard. Remember, uh, everything that your teachers and coaches have been teaching you, and you are going to soar to infinity and beyond. Third graders, thank you for all your hard work on our Tuesday and Wednesday ELA third grade FSA reading test. You guys worked so hard, and we are so, so proud of you at Tampa Heights. Keep up the great work, you guys. I just want to celebrate a few people on the morning show that have made a difference this month at our school. First up, our volunteer of the month is Latrice Montgomery, part of Tampa Diamond Divas. Our employee of the month is our very own Miss Jones, our school counselor. And our theme integrator of the month is our magnet lead, Miss Messina. When you see them, boys and girls, please tell them thank you for all that they do and to keep up the great work. You should always wear your mask in public. It will off it will protect others as well as you. <laughs> 